Thanks for joining us in the Green Room from the Heritage Foundation. I'm Rob Bluey, and today we're joined by Governor Paula Page of Maine. Governor, thanks for visiting Heritage. Oh, it's a pleasure. So I want to begin. Um, growing up in Maine, I understand you left home at age 11. You lived on the streets. Uh, that's kind of an unusual beginning to life for a future governor. <laughs> Can you tell us what it was like? Uh, it, was, it was difficult. Uh, frankly, uh, as I tell most people, I don't like uh, reliving any day before I was 18. That's when I entered college, and and that was a good, that was a fun part of my life. But the early days were a little difficult. Uh, don't know where you're going to be sleeping at times. Sometimes you you need new shoes and you don't have money, or you, you we got hungry a few times. Now you've been a truck driver. You've worked at a meat packing company. Um, you've been a short order cook. What did those experiences teach you about life, um, living in America, and and now in your role as governor? The biggest thing you learn is respect. Um, frankly, it's all about uh, people you work with, and uh, I've always felt that honesty and integrity will get you a long ways, and that's really what it taught me. Is uh, is you know keep your nose clean and your nose to the grindstone and keep moving ahead. So why public service? You've been a mayor, now you're governor. I've, I've lived a pretty fortunate life since coming off the streets and that's why it's time my turn to give back. I mean I, I started out, uh, I was number one very fortunate to even get into college. I think I applied for 50 schools and got rejected 50 times. So it was uh, very fortunate that I met people that were willing to help me and, and I get into college and I've had a good life. I mean, I've been successful in business and uh, now it's time to give back. And how did those uh, experiences shape your view on policy issues, particularly welfare reform, which you've done uh, quite a bit of work on? Well, I will say this. Uh, I hear the rhetoric of both parties. I've, heard, I've listened to Washington, I've listened to state legislators and everybody makes the same mistake. They're willing to throw money at the problem, but they're not willing to educate. And uh, I will tell you, the only reason I'm not in welfare is somebody helped me and they taught me how to get out. Uh, we don't do enough of that. We throw money at it and we don't want to, we want to ignore the problem. The only way we're going to rid ourselves of poverty is if we educate the people who have been trapped in, it, in gen what I call generational poverty. Now, uh, in the short time that you have been government, governor, you've uh, addressed a number of issues, uh, illegal immigration, uh, red tape, uh, reforms to pensions, health care, and education. What's coming next? Uh, energy is going to be a big part of our, our approach come January. In the next session, we're gonna, we need to, to do a lot of work in energy. The state of Maine is paying 42 percent above the national average for its energy. Uh, it's difficult to bring in investment and job creators when you're one of the highest in the country. We're at rank number eight right now. So we need to, get to lower our energy costs. Our taxes are still way too high. Um, we need to address taxation for the future. We, we need to be more competitive in those areas. And education is just, uh, we've only touched the tip of the iceberg. We got charter schools passed, but now we gotta create a quality student. Uh, in wrapping up, I want to ask you about the ten two-letter words. What are they and what do they mean? If it is to be, it's up to me. And that was a saying that was given to me by a gentleman when I was cleaning hostiles at the fairgrounds. And it was just uh, a way of uh, not to go at it alone, but to say that if you do it right and you're honest and you work hard, you will find people to help you. And if it's going to happen, it, you're the only one that can make it happen. Governor LePage, thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure. For the Heritage Foundation, I'm Rob Bluey. And for more videos from Heritage, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.